Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're going to be looking at some intercoms and we're going to try and set them up without using a PC or a laptop um, and just configure them as, as they come out of the box. Right, let's start by identifying some of these things. We've got an outdoor station and an indoor station. Uh, these are both connected to a PoE switch, which is power of Ethernet. And in turn, that PoE switch is connected to our local network. Let's just wake the thing up because I've just taken it out of box. It's brand new. I'll need to uh, activate it. So when on powered up, you're going to have to enter your a nice new password that you can decide what you want to put in there. But you need to remember it and you need to enter it twice. I just click next uh, and you have to pick the language. We'll continue with English. I'm just going to leave the default IP settings on there for now. Uh, the thing we do have to do is there's a registration password or a SIP password sometimes. We, we're going to have to enter another password. We'll make it the same password as we had before. Um, so again, you have to enter that twice. Then we click next. We're going to ignore the cloud service. Now, the outdoor station needs to be activated. And it says activated on the screen. We just press there and you'll find that it activates it on the screen. And it's left with the default password, uh, default IP address. And that's basically it. It's all configured now. We'll ignore the time for now. Uh, we just need to give it a wee test. So we're going to click on the live view button there. Um, what we should get up is the in, the uh, the door station. And we click, and there we are. We can see it's there. Hello. Uh, we can even unlock the door if we need to. The door is open. Very good. And uh, we can exit back out of there. And then we can go and press the door station to see that it communicates with the indoor. And there we have it. It's all working now, I think. There we go. Hello there. And we can just cancel the call. Right, now everything's been activated. Uh, I'm going to go and set it up again, but this time I'm going to get it on our local network because we had it connected there, but we didn't change any addresses. So I'm just going to go into the settings. I'm going to go down to that bottom menu and click on configuration. We will have to enter that admin password that we created before, which will get us back into the setup. And if you hit the little spanner, we can go on back onto the wizard. Now the wizard's one we started before and this time on the second menu you're going to hit DHCP so if we've got that enabled the IP address will change and our indoor station is now configured so I'm going to go next I'm going to go around and ignore the cloud service for now and now I need to change the outdoor stations IP address click on that cog click on DHCP give it a second or two and then we click OK and then it should be setting it up now if we just watch very carefully we should see that the IP address will change. If it doesn't, you can click the little refresh over at the top. But the IP address is it's just changed for us. And that means it's now on our local network. And both units are DHCP'd on our local network. And let's just go and test it again now. Again, we'll go and click on Live View. Press the monitor. And we can see everything's there. Everything's OK. And we'll go back again. Back to the main menu. Uh, we'll just leave it on there. I'll just press the button just to make sure they're communicating again. And there we have it. It's all working again on our local network. That's nice and straightforward. Thanks very much.